If you think about it, most of us walk down almost identical life paths. We grow up, we graduate from school, we find a good paying 9 to 5, get married to someone similar to you, have kids. This was supposed to be my narrative as well. If you love it and you thrive in this structure, then obviously there's absolutely nothing wrong. For 29 years of my life, I followed that roadmap set out by the culture and the society I lived in. Everyone else was doing it. The pressure to conform is so very real. Even though I felt exactly like a round peg squeezing into a square hole, whilst having thoughts like, Oh God, what am I doing? Is this really going to be it for the rest of my life? Every day I'm just going through the motions on autopilot. This is awful. But if not this, then what? <laughs> If you think about it, there's almost 8 billion people on Earth. There's no way we're all going to fit perfectly into this one mode. Unfortunately, most of us also live in communities of people who are just like us, an echo chamber. That one education system for us and all our friends, the conventional trappings of success, that three or four supposedly desirable career paths, even the notions of who we should be dating. Although well-meaning, often such guidance or expectations are in the pursuit of comfort, security, familiarity, rather than, say, true purpose or fulfillment. We all start out young and confused, though, just following along. And even if you started feeling like those paths weren't leading to where you truly wanted to be, often it's just really hard to even admit that. To admit that even though everything looks just as it should on the outside, plus you've spent all those years and all that money getting to this point, inside there's this sense of being stuck, lost, a sense of a lack of fulfillment or content, or just you're not happy. I remember that miserable feeling myself. Now, years later, of course, it's easy to look back and think that perhaps we are meant to have those feelings as a way to force us to take action to change our lives for the better. But back then, there I was, lost and struggling. My feelings were about my career and my life direction, but really what I want to share here applies to relationships and most other stuff as well. I knew I didn't like where I was and where I seemed to be going. But looking at my friends and colleagues, the community around me didn't give me the answers that I was seeking. No one really was doing anything that felt like what I truly wanted. So really, I was writing my own new page in the story without precedent. And I can't say this enough, but social media is not our friend. <laughs> what really helped in the end was looking inwards being brutally honest with myself over questions like if I took myself now the path I was on and fast forwarded 10 20 years in time is that where I wanted to be if there was only a month or six months left to live what would I spend that doing if I stopped caring about things like money or what other people think of me or being afraid to fail what would I be doing I realized I was lucky that I had answers to those questions, even if they were simply vague ones. Stuff like, I want to be living an active life out in the sun somewhere, not in an office. I wanted to do stuff that makes other people happy and empowered or even inspired, not push paperwork around. From talking to my own friends and many of you, there are so many people out there who know that their present reality doesn't quite fit but they also don't have specific answers as to what will. We can't become what we can't conceptualize, what we can't see. Think about it. If you've never met a fashion designer, you wouldn't want to be one because you wouldn't know what that seems like or feels like. If you've never met an aged hippie surfer, you can't know that's what you truly aspire your life to be. <laughs> so for you, if it all doesn't fit, then you're just going to have to take some time and explore and expose yourself to new ideas, new experiences, new role models. I hope that makes sense to you. No one else can figure out these things for you. 
I know it's challenging and difficult, but going through these processes and arriving at your true realizations about yourself and your values is part of the beauty of living, it truly is. It's also only human to procrastinate, to tell ourselves it's too hard, so maybe tomorrow? <laughs> For so long, years in fact, I was so afraid to take risks and pursue what was meaningful to me. But at some point, I started to realize if I'm already feeling so stuck and unhappy now, if I didn't change anything 10 to 20 years later, I'll just be a lot more miserable, plus also older and a lot more stuck. Every day I wasted today procrastinating takes away a day where I could potentially be happier and fulfilled or just out of whatever situation that was crushing my soul. Looking back, I feel so grateful that I felt that urgency of action and let it kick me into gear because frankly, the changes that I needed to make to my life were big ones. And as it often does, it took me years to transition properly, so there's never really much time to lose. And when finally you know yourself better, when you have an idea about your true direction and you're ready for change, remember that it's all about taking little steps consistently in the right direction. As people, we tend to frame changes we want to make as huge grandiose plans. Lose 30kg in 3 weeks, be a millionaire by 25. But often that just sets ourselves up for failure. It's already so difficult to just believe in yourself, to take courage and go against the grain Especially when you're just starting out with something different and new and no one else quite believes in you yet. <laughs> no one's an oracle. None of us can predict a precise future for ourselves. But I have found that the magic of life is that when you move away from things that are crushing your soul, your job, a toxic relationship, whatever, and you start doing what you truly believe in, following your calling and your values, there's a lot of leeway for happiness to come into your life. You might end up in a completely different place from where you expect it to be, but I believe you will still think it was all worth it. Now a quick word about Skillshare, who is our sponsor for today's video. Remember what I said earlier about exposure? Well, through Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of classes, you can actually dip your toe into many different areas quickly. I started on Skillshare a year ago through a free trial exactly like this one. We had just started on YouTube back then, and through Skillshare, we really up-leveled on so many useful skills. Editing, camera work, telling better stories. The best part is the huge topic range, from bankable skills like graphic design to personal development, even stuff like freelancing and entrepreneurship. I do art, and one of my dreams is to make my own art prints for sale. So I recently watched a step-by-step -step guide to art licensing, selling your first piece of artwork online by Kat Coquillet. She too started from zero and successfully monetized her art hobby, and is now independently traveling around whilst running her creative brand, Kat Cog. Kind of my dream too, so she's an inspiration for me. Plus her class is so practical and actionable, so I hope to bring to you guys my very own art prints for sale too. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1000 viewers to use this link in the description below or my code Jean Voronkova will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. So you can explore Skillshare's entire class library for 1 month absolutely free and just expose yourself to their entire range of topics and see if maybe there's something that strikes a chord. So looking inwards, exposure, taking actions in little steps consistently, these were what helped find myself when I was truly lost. Now I'm not some phenomenal success story about how I defied convention, quit my job and built a multi-million business empire all at the age of 12. <laughs> but these days, I wake up excited for each new day. My time is spent on pursuits meaningful to me and I don't dread Mondays anymore. This to me is success. I feel so blessed to have reached this stage earlier so that I have the rest of my life to enjoy every minute of it and walk in the right direction. Has there ever been a time in your life where you also felt lost or stuck? What did you do or are you still in that situation? I would be grateful for you to share your story 
I hope that by us sharing all our stories together, people feeling this way can know they're not alone. I hope that they can find some comfort and hopefully their own way to finding true direction in their life. If you found this video helpful or what I said about being lost and then finding my direction resonated with you, hit that like button because a simple like really helps me out tremendously to get this message about life direction and finding yourself and taking action out there to reach other people like you who are also feeling lost and perhaps alone. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss our future videos. All the best to you in finding your life's true direction. See you in future videos. Bye!